Today we're going to be reading A Day in the Salt Marsh by Kevin Kurtz and Conzi Powell. The sun's coming up in the salt marsh and the birds respond with a song. If you decide to stay a while, you'll see changes all day long. It's 8 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is really low. The fiddler crabs upon the mud are putting on a show. They wave their claws to the left and wave them to the right, and if a rival gets too close, the crabs will start to fight. It's nine o'clock in the salt marsh, and the tide is coming back, and on the muddy bank you'll hear a quiet crack. A tempin is eating while resting on the ground. It bites onto a snail shell and makes a popping sound. It's 10 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide's now in the grass. The tiny periwinkle snails wait on the tide to pass. Clinging to the blades of grass, they climb without a sound. They're above the rising water to avoid being drowned. It's 11 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is getting high. Over the tidal creek, a blue crab skitters by. The blue crab isn't picky and will eat most any dish. It even eats sea cucumbers or a stinky piece of fish. It's 12 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is rising fast. A gray fin breaks the water and it's as a dolphin swims right past. Look, it's moving quickly, just like it's in a race. The small fish swim before it as the dolphin gives them a chase. It's one o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is very high. The grass is underwater and yet it doesn't die. The cord grass drinks salt water as the wind blows it about. The leaves hold into the water but spit the salt back out. It's two o'clock in the salt marsh. A fish, small and tiny, swimming all around the grass with scales so small and shiny. The marsh is like a nursery where the little fish can hide feed the food that's brought their way with each new rising tide. It's three o'clock in the salt marsh, and on and off all day, running, splashing, swimming, the river otters play. Two pups begin to wrestle a game of one-on-one. -on -one. The first their mother watches, then joins them in the fun. It's four o'clock in the salt marsh, and over by the tidal creek stands a great stands a gray and stately bird with a long pointy beak. The great blue heron waits quietly, but when it sees its prey, its beak hits the water and the fish can't get away. It's five o'clock in the salt marsh and the water's going down. Over on the muddy bank, a horseshoe crabs aground. It doesn't seem to move at all, yet if you look close and smell, it's not live horseshoe crab but just the molted shell it's six o'clock in the salt marsh the oysters no longer hide they're out in the sunlight uncovered by the tide oysters hold up the banks so the grass can grow grass supports the food web in the daily salt marsh show the sun's going down in the salt marsh the day is almost through but if you're back tomorrow you see the changes too